Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This stiletto coming at you from the wild, wild west. The coronavirus continues. Some states have started to let people out. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I'll let them decide that. But anyway, got a new video for you today. I got this package. Just got this package. I opened it up to see if it had everything in it. Everything's in it. It's coming from... Snaggletooth! Snaggletooth! I'm going to modify my uh, Collector Recon one. It's going to, since I have two of these, that's why I chose this one. And I'm going to put this one in my um, EDC drawer. So I'm going to EDC the Snaggletooth. I'm getting the, snaggle, the aluminum Snaggletooth and the aluminum ring. Because I wanted to make it function more like this one. I love the ring on this one. It makes it so easy to, to, to pull the, the knife out of your pocket and draw it, especially if you're snagging it on the corner of your pocket when you're drawing it, using the wave, Andrew Dimko wave plate. The ring on this is awesome. Makes That's one reason why I like this knife so much is because it, 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 it works so well with the, with the pocket thing. For me, anyway. And it's great if you use it in reverse pull, so like if you pull it out your right side pocket from reverse, and then and the, and the blade will extend out like this and that would be the grip that you come out in it'll come out like that it'll snag as you pull it out and comes out like that in a good defensive position that's one thing that's really cool about this one but anyway I sort of want to try to do the same thing on the recon one this is this is a regular standard pocket clip so first I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it just in a regular standard way but then I I have to dig up the other pocket clip for this because it's buried in the, all the boxes for this and I have to find the other pocket clip. But I'm, I'm going to try it on this side too. Try it with the reverse pull like I just showed you. But anyway, let's start, let's start on the st standard side and let's just see what it looks like and get a feel for it. Decide if we like it or not. Here we go. Snaggletooth. Snaggletooth. Tactical LLC, P.O. Box 105, Glasser, New Jersey, 07837-0105. Weight of this is one ounce. Snaggle tooth for the right side. Let's put this out the way. We don't need that. This is the aluminum one. The R is for right side. And then Snaggle 2 sent me a free one. This one's a nylon one. I'm going to put this one on my Voyager. That'll be another video. But this one will go on my Voyager. So we'll set this one aside. We don't need this one for right now. And this right here is the backspacer. The aluminum backspacer. That is awesome. And I believe it's 6061 aluminum, just like the the, me, the aluminum that, that Cold Steel uses. It's a beautiful looking piece. I saw this on the internet and I said, I gotta have this. I gotta have that. And so I went back and forth, talked to the, peop, the people at um, Snaggletooth. And I told them I just had to have their product. Let's first take off the... The thumb stud. Take off the thumb stud screws. Pull out all the hardware for the snaggle tooth. Let's see, open up this way. Uh, let's see, it goes on like that. Okay. And then use the thumb stud side for this. 
and stick the screw through there and see how that looks. Okay, works just like that, huh? That's pretty simple and basic. It went on really easy. Let's put some Loctite on it. I'm just going to need some Loctite. I'm digging that already. Fitment on it's really nice. A little Loctite on there. Okay. It's the wrench that they give you. It's on there. Just out of curiosity, I want to see how it works on my pocket real quick. Oh yeah, it works. It works. It works. It works. Works like a charm. Okay, let's finish up doing what we're doing. It works. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> I'm a happy camper. I'm going to save these other pieces in here. I just screw them together for right now. keep the parts together put them in the bag this little tube right here I guess is for your wrench to hold the um to hold it but I didn't need to use that all right I'm digging it off to a good start Okay, whenever I take apart a knife, whenever I take apart the knife, I always open it up first. And I always use a side without the clip. I take, on part of, I take apart one side at a time. And the reason why I open up the blade is so when you're taking apart and the blade, blade gets loose after you take apart the pivot, it doesn't rub against the back spacer or anything else and damage up your edge or the in, internal parts. And that's the reason why I do it like that. I keep the blade out of the way from getting damaged or from damaging anything else. And the way you do that, you open it up. Keep all your screws together as you take them up. The long ones go on, are the two ones that go on, are these two, these two are the long ones. And the other ones are pretty much short ones. They're shorter. These are the ones for the clip for the other side. So 
See what I'm saying? These, these screws are a little bit longer than the other screws. I don't know if you can see that. But these screws are shorter. And the ones that hold the, the other piece on are longer. And the reason why is because this is milled out right here. So the screws have to be longer and shorter to fit the handle right. Okay, and then and using a T6. This is a T9, but the proper size is a T10. My T10 is messed up, so I have to use the T9. Torx, torx screwdrivers. And if you never torque down your screws on your knife, you shouldn't need, I mean, you can get away with doing, doing like that. When I take these apart, I never prime them apart with a screwdriver. I just do it with my fingers. I just take my time, and I sort of like push it back and forth. I don't know if you can see me doing that. And eventually it'll come apart. And I hold it over my, my table so if any parts fall out, they'll fall on the table. It's a pain in the butt when you can't find a part. You have to look all over the place for it. There they go. Take out all your parts. Always, whenever I take a part knife, I always clean it up. Now you take out the blade. Take it, I always disassemble all the way. This is your time to clean up stuff. All right. Now we take off the other part of the backspacers. The other screws that are holding the backspacers, should I say. My tools, I like to use Craftsman tools. These are all Craftsman tools. I don't know where I'm going to get them anymore, though, because the Sears in my area close. I used to love getting Sears Craftsman tools because whenever I'm a, a, a lot, lot, big part of my life, I was a mechanic. And uh, I used to like to get in Sears tools because whenever you mess up, you just take them back to Sears and replace it. But I can't do that no more. Everything's online nowadays. I guess I'm getting old fashioned. I, I still like going to a physical store and buying physical products and being able to get a physical look at it before I physically buy it. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Knife's gonna go back together like that. This piece, I'm gonna get this piece next. This the backspacer. This is the main piece that we're replacing. Take the little pin, the little pin that holds in part of your backspacer. I like to put that in first. That lines up perfectly on it. Perfect fitment on it. That's a good sign. Screws look, screw holes look like they're lining up perfect too. Okay, let's go ahead and start some screws on it. These already have some Loctite on it. This is a brand, this is not a brand new knife, but it's the first time this knife has ever been disassembled. It was a collector. I have two of these with the OD green handles. I only need to collect one. So this one's going to go, it's going to become a user. It's going from the safe to the EDC drawer. These are this this side that without the um the pocket clips, so I'm gonna put all these little screws back in here already. The three little screws. They go in the pocket clip spot for the left hand side. And whenever you tighten these down, I always just tighten them finger tight. I don't know why people torque things down and stuff. You don't need to do that on these. You gotta remember, this is heat treated aluminum that you're 6061 aluminum that you're screwing into, and it can strip out. The aluminum can strip out. So just do a nice finger tight, like I, like you see me doing right here. And that's all you need to do. I'm not torquing it down. Just nice, nice finger tight. 
That's all you need to do. You won't be able to take your knife back apart again, too. You know, if you, if you ever need to clean it or whatever, you ever get dirt or mud or whatever in it, you always want to be able to take it apart. So don't torque things down super tight. You don't need to do that. Okay. As I put the parts together, I like to clean them. This is the pivot. The flat goes forward on the pivots. Oops, that's the wrong side. My back goes in this one. Yeah. I see what I did. I built it backwards. The those screws in there and we use these other screws. We'll build it from this side. Always take your time with this stuff. Don't rush yourself. Just sort of relax. Take your time. All right, standing tall and looking good. Standing tall and looking good, just like a soldier should. C-130 rolling down the strip, one-way daddy on a one-way trip. Say, Bob Reba, go left, right, and left, right. I wish all the ladies were pies on the shelf. And I was a baker. I eat them all myself. Hey, Baba Reba. One of these is bigger than the other. That's why you see me looking at them like this. Because I can't remember which one's which. The... <laughs> They look like they're the same size. One's supposed to be bigger than the other. And this one hasn't been used, so there's no bang marks against the, the blade stop. I'm going to bet it's this one now. Okay, well... If it's the wrong one, what would happen is that when you put it together, the lock bar won't be fitting right. And then you just go back and you switch them back around, if that happens to you. It's happened to me a million times. It's just part of learning how to take, to take these things apart and how they work. and It's, just part, it's part of the learning 
part of the learning process. These knives are real simple. Anybody could take these apart that has a, any sort of basic knowledge of mechanical use of tools and and things like that. This, they're real simple. That's one thing I, I really like about the triad lock. It's not only the best lock, it's a simple lock. It's not hard to figure out, it's not hard to take to, to maintain or it's an awesome lock. Okay, looks like I got it right. Looks like I picked the right pieces. Everything's fitting right. Bill, give me a little dab of oil here. Teflon, Teflon washer goes against the blade. Your phosphor bronze washer goes against the Teflon washer and your, and your handle scales. Always put your screws in loosely first, and then you go back and cinch them down. Like I said, just finger tight cinch though. Don't do a torque down cinch. You don't want to strip out any of the screws or anything. Okay, now they're all tight, and I'm just going to go back and just finger tight cinch them down. That way I can take it apart again when I need to take it apart again. It'll be easy to take apart. Okay. It looks like we're just about done here. This is the pivot screw. You tighten it all the way down. And then you back it off about uh, just a touch. It's a little bit tight. Center's out perfect. This is the aluminum one. That's the aluminum one. The nylon one I'm going to put on my Voyager, my large Voyager, Tonto Voyager. Is that cool or what? I think it's, <laughs> that's a badass blade. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, let's see how it feels in the pocket. I have to go off camera here for a second. I don't have a way to move my camera around. Let's see how it works. Oh yeah, that works nice. Here we go. It works. This grip feels awesome. I really like the way the grip feels. Oh yeah, that feels good. The ring is awesome. I'm digging it. Let's see what makes a knife way now. I should have weighed this before I took off, the, before I put on the ring. Forgot to do that. That's what I meant to do. But I think these weigh like. 5.3 ounces or something like that. Anyway, let's check it out. It's 
Still says 5.3 ounces, so it didn't change the weight. I know it probably changed it just a little bit, but it's probably like in between 5.3 and 5.4. So it doesn't really alter the weight of the knife. That's, that's nice. And it's sweet, people. It's snaggle tooth. Snaggle tooth. This actually works. It works very well. This is aluminum. Aluminum snaggle tooth with aluminum ring. On a recon, large recon one. CTS6HP recon one. I'm sure it'd be the exact same for S35VN or, or Oz8. They're all made exactly the same. All They just had different blade steels. So if it works for one, it'd work for all of them, I'm pretty sure. I won't swear to that, but I'm pretty sure it will. <laughs> 42 bucks for the for the snaggle tooth ring and the snaggle tooth. 42 bucks. I say go for it. I love it. This is going this is going in my uh, rotation drawer. It'll be a knife that gets used a lot. It's going from the safe to the rotation drawer. I really am digging this. I've been carrying Recon Ones, Recon Ones, and and uh, and Tile Wars have been my favorites for years, for years, years, years. I don't even know how long they, they when they made them or first started making them or whatever. I've, I've been carrying Recon One, Oz Eight. I mean, I started off with the Oz Eight ones. When ever since they ever since they had the Triad Lock, I've been carrying Recon Ones. That's how long I've been carrying these. I don't even know how long they've been making these. I want to say like ten years or something. I don't even know. And I, I carry the towel. I've been carrying the towel wars. They've always been in my my, my rotation rotation drawer. I've always had at least one recon one and one towel war in my rotation drawer. My two favorite four inch folding knives. And I also like the five and five and a half inch versions of these too, of these and the towel war. Those are all my, my my two top favorite mega mega folders. I absolutely always love the recon ones and the towel wars, and this one just even makes the recon one even better. With a snaggle tooth on it. Now it makes it be able to do all the stuff my towel war can do pretty much. Plus do the stuff that my uh, tiger claw can do. Pretty awesome, huh? I'm digging it. Check it out, people. Check it out, people. Snaggle tooth. Snaggle tooth. Give them some business. Give them some business. Peace out.